Hello? Hello. 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 Hi, sir. This is uh, Charlie from Amazon Security. We received a call from your number. How can I help you? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Charlie. We had gotten disconnected, and then I tried to call back, and then the number didn't work. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on, but I have 100 numbers, so in case we get disconnected, I might call you back from a different number. I was just calling to ask you guys, why do you keep bothering me? You're in India, what right? Happened, yeah, India is calling me. You guys are in India, and you're looking for me, but I just need to set the record straight. I love India. Don't you say goodbye? Thank you for calling I'm in the professional service. How can I help you today? Hello? Yes, sir. How can I help you? I can barely hear you, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, you're in India, right? Why do you guys keep bothering me? I did not bother you. I just woke up and I had a text right, message okay. from you guys. I don't, I don't really understand why you keep bothering me, sir. I didn't do anything to any of your people. Uh, I know that somebody went over there and the call centers uh, got shut down for a little while and people got arrested. I had nothing to do with that. Why do you keep bothering me? When will you leave me alone? Thank you for calling Amazon. How may I help you today? Yeah, is this India? You guys keep calling me. I didn't do anything to you guys. Why do you guys keep bothering me? Go ahead, please. I am from Pakistan, sir. No, you're from India, Gandhu. Kamada Asinam kya hai, loser? Yeah, motherfucker, I'm Paki. Yeah, and you work for Bank of America with that mouth, right? You suck your dad's lung with that mouth? <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> there we go, Gandhu. Not Gandhu, it's Gandhu. Oh, oh, boha poha ton you you teach me. Yeah, it's Gandhu. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, I'll call right back and give me another lesson, okay? Firmi linge. You Gandhu? <laughs> Beba Koob, you're funny. Tamara Asinam Kyahe. Thank you for calling eBay. This is Sam. How are you? Hey, Sam. I was just wondering what time you guys were coming over here. This is ridiculous now. Uh, there's water everywhere. My, my ceiling is pregnant. Uh, there's like a big bubble in my ceiling. Uh, there's a leak or something. What time will you guys fix this? Go ahead, please. Sure, you're, uh, you're, you're contacting eBay. Uh, I'm not sure you do have the number for that. Well, no, I don't need any help with that. Thank you very much. Uh, I just, I have water everywhere. There's like a huge leak coming into my apartment. I pay $8,000 a month to live here. I shouldn't have to deal with a pregnant roof. What time will you get here? You have contacted me, eBay. Right, what? You have to call eBay. Exactly. the right number, I guess. What time will you be here? Why would I be here? Again, sir, you called the wrong number. This is eBay. Oh, do you have that number? Do you have that pregnant ceiling number? Uh, sir, that's the wrong number. I'm sorry. Okay, you should be sorry that you're pretending to work at eBay. Not only are you embarrassing yourself, but you're hurting innocent people. So first you can't fix my roof. Now you don't say goodbye. I'll call you back. Hey, this is Richard. How can I help you? Who is this? Uh, yeah, my name is Richard. How can I help you, sir? I'm trying to explain. There's water everywhere, sir. My 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 roof is pregnant. I don't know what's going on. There's water everywhere. The cats are going to start going up there now into the ceiling. Can you please come to fix this? Ridiculous now. Go ahead, please. Thank you for calling eBay. This is Sam. How may I help you? Sam, I really need the help here. I need you to put the lunch sandwich down and get over to my apartment. I have a leak. I've been complaining about this all morning. Where are you guys? Fucker. Thank you for Hi, this is Richard. How can I help you? Okay, Dick. We have some serious problems going on over here, Lundbiter. When are you going to be at my apartment to fix this leak? Tired of this now. Playing a runaround game all day long with you people. Go ahead, please. I don't think he's going to help me. Hello? Yes. Yeah, your phone is not great. I don't know. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you, yes. How can I help you? Listen to me, Lund sucker. We have some serious problems going over here. It's raining. It's raining in my apartment. When will you be here to fix it? This is John. Um, John, uh, it's me again. I'm the one with the pregnant ceiling. Uh, what time are you guys coming here? Just following up. Got water everywhere. What? I have water everywhere. There's a, some kind of leak. I don't know if the upstairs uh, toilet is overflowing or if it's the rain. I don't know. But I, there's a big bubble in my ceiling. You heard about me. I'm the guy with the pregnant roof. Can you help me? <laughs> I think John's a little confused. Thank you for calling to put the side Austin. How may I help you? Oh my goodness, Lund Sniffer. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello, sir. Yeah. Can you please describe me your problem, what you have over there? I don't know what's going on over here, Lund Sniffer. I woke up and there's water all over the place. I got a huge leak going on. I tried everybody. Can you help me? How much do you charge? Sir, we don't charge the customers. 
Oh, you're going to come fix my roof for free? It's pregnant. I, there's a big bubble in my roof. You're saying you're going to do all this work for free? Hello. Uh, another confused individual. Let's call him back. Thank you for calling Microsoft Support. How can I help you today? Hey there, Luntaster. I'm, I'm have a big problem over here. I don't know who I was just speaking with, but he said you would fix my roof for free. Is that true? Say that again, sir. My roof is, is pregnant right now. I don't know how else to explain it. There's a great big bubble in my roof. It's, there's water all over the place. The water's coming in right now. It's driving the cats crazy. That guy said he would fix it for free. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, do you understand me? No, sir. Okay, uh, Tomada Asinam Kyahe. Kyaop and Greasy Boltehe? I guess you understood that. What way for a Microsoft employee to speak, Gandu? Do you suck your dad's lung with that mouth? Don't you say goodbye? Thanks for calling Bank of America. This is Charles. How can I help you? Charles, your parents must be really proud of their son. Look at you, big scammer. Go ahead, please. Explain. He doesn't want to explain. Thanks for calling Bank of America. This is Charles. How can I help you? Charles, your parents must be really proud of you. Get a job. Jeremy Linge. Thank you for calling Bank of America. How can I help you? Oh, Ekbar, it's me again. No victim here, buddy. Your parents must be really proud of you. Yeah, they are. They're proud that you sit there and hurt people? That's the end of that conversation. Thank you for calling Bank of America. How can I help you? You realize how stupid you sound, right? I mean, you have to know that. You sound so stupid, Bebakoof. Anything else you want to say, sir? Oh, Tamada Asinam Kahe. Yeah, I'll talk to you. You want to talk? Anything else? We'll talk. What's your real name? Tamada Asinam Kahe. You want to sit there and hide behind the phone? Anything else, sir? Do your parents know what you do? Yes. And what do they say about it? Are they happy that you sit there and hurt innocent people? Are they proud that they raised a son who hurts people? <laughs> Anything else? Go ahead, please. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I mean, you're not making any money anyway. Everybody's calling you with nonsense. No victims. You might as well talk to me. Uh, why don't you get a job? Is it that hard to find a job that you would want to hurt people? I understand, sir. I understand. Please listen to me. Okay? Uh, Do one thing, sir. Give me a favor. Do one thing. Please send your daughter... <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Tamara Kai. That's the end of that conversation. Words of wisdom and a favor request from the scammer. Thank you for calling Bank of America. How can I help you? Yeah, I don't understand something. Uh, why are you scamming people? I heard you were very popular at the brothel. Why don't you go back to that kind of work? You know what? Fuck yeah. yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> You're so angry, Rundy. She's a little spicy. Thank you for calling support. This is Mike. How can I help you? Mike, karma's a bitch, you dumb fuck. Do you ever think about that? Do you ever worry what the future may bring for you? Go ahead, please. Happen, sir. Fake Mike, do you ever worry about karma? Do you tell me why you called us, sir? Tell me how can I help you? We both know what you're doing. Why would you just ask me that question, Bevakoof? You're a scammer. You're a piece of shit. You're a loser. You hurt innocent people. I'm asking you... I don't understand why he didn't say goodbye. Thank you very much for calling about Xfinity. This is Adam. I miss us here. Adam, how are you? I'm going to keep calling you again and again and again. Are you okay with that? Yes, I'm okay. I okay. Like because that was far. <laughs> yeah, how are you? I'm doing okay. Metikun. Kun. What up? Okay, say hey. Sorry? What are you sorry about? Yeah, I'm good. Like, may I have the name of the representative you will speak today? Oh, I spoke to all of you guys. I've called about a thousand times already. I'm going to keep calling you, okay? I love you guys. <laughs> really? Like, yeah. What habit do you like? I, I spoke to one guy, and he told me all about Bollywood movies. I spoke to a, a, a girl, and she told me what life was like in the brothel before she started scamming people. And now I'm talking to you, and you're a very nice man. I love you guys. You're like my family. Tomara Asinam Kahe. Like... We are just Americans, like there's no any girls. Hey, it's so funny when you say that in a very thick Indian accent. I don't know why all the other people didn't have a problem telling me right where they were, but you do. Why would you lie to me? I thought we were getting to be friends. Mm -hmm. Where do you live in the United States, which state? I'm in New York. Yeah. New York, really? Yeah. Whoa, that's a very nice city. Or two? Where are you, Delhi? No, 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 like I'm not in India, I'm in Feltnace. 
क्या कहा फिलपाइन फिलपाइन आई मीन फिलपाइन क्या कहा वी आर इन फिलपाइन वी आर इन कंट्री फिलपाइन वी आर फिलपनीज आर यू ट्राइंग टू से फिलिपींस यस यू आर एडोरेबल दैट यू वुड से दैट यू आर इन अ प्लेस दैट यू कैन नॉट प्रोनाउंस and that you understood me three our... times when i said what did you say so you speak hindi no 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 we're here philippines okay we have a <laughs> if you want to lie to people and say that you're from the philippines you should learn how to pronounce that country no i have talked to any of the philippines person before like do you are wwe you couldn't say one thing to me in tagalog you couldn't talk to me in that language why would you lie to me and you speak perfect hindi You could help me learn. Why are you lying to me? Bro, who told you that I'm from India? The guy right next to you. We just had a long conversation about India. Can I have his name? We are not Indian, we are in Philippines. <laughs> Can you say that word again one more time? Philippines. Bevacoof. I mean, I like you, but you're not so bright. You know that, right? You're like the Forrest right. Gump of you India. Like you're like the Forrest Gump of Should India. I hate India, brother. <laughs> no, you don't. You love it. India is piece of shit. No, oh, brother. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Like, wh- why am I lying? I hate India, brother. I mean, uh, why would you hate your own country? Yeah, but... Well, get some self-respect. No wonder why you're scamming people. I feel bad for you. I know that. No. You have I very agree. low self-esteem. I agree with that, Camper. Very low self-esteem. I agree with that, I'm Camper. Oh, you're... No, in... brother. Like, listen to me. I agree that I'm Camper. And I agree that I'm in call center, but I'm not in India. And you're in Philippines? Correct. <laughs> I'm not in India. Okay. I'm scamming people, but I'm not in India. Now, do you ever feel bad that you're scamming anyone? Do you exactly. ever feel bad? Do you ever feel bad that you're hurting people? Like, there are too many call centers in Philippines. Right. And we are scamming people too in the United States. Right, but why? Like, why? Why do you feel good? Why? Why is that okay? Because it was a very long history. The, in Philippines, uh, before eight months ago, before sorry, eight months before, there was an online working platform was launched by United States, named by Econex. Okay, Econex. Many of the people started in, invest on that website. So, and. After a few days, that website was closed. Many of the people invested, money was wasted. So that's why we decided to get our money back. So you mean the only people that are working in that call center are the people that were scammed by that website? Is that what you're saying? Everyone I've talked no, to no, today no, no, no. in your call center is getting revenge because they were personally scammed? Correct. Wow. The website, Econex, which is recently before eight months, The United States launched a website in Philippines named by Econex. Many of the people invested thousands of dollars on that website, and after eight days, that website was closed. Right, I understand. Uh, so that means everyone that's working right now in your uh, fake uh, cable call center, uh, they were all personally scammed by uh, that website. Correct. Every one of them. We have right. Correct. Wow. Okay. So, w- when will you stop? Like, when will you have your money back that you can stop? No, we will not stop. So you're going to be just as bad as the people that scammed you. You mean? Correct. Okay, that's a vicious cycle, brother. You got a lot of bad karma coming your way. You ever hear the 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 saying, two wrongs don't make a right"? Like we are, in our sense, we are doing the right thing because we are saving. Like And many of the people invested in it. When the website was closed, like it will affect our country's economy. Right now, how long have you lived in the Philippines? I'm 18 year old just in Philippines. How long? I'm just 18 year old in Philippines. How long have you lived there? Like I'm Philippines. I'm Philippines. Oh, you were born there. Correct. And we have some call centers in the India. We provided the right, 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 right. As a third party. But what I'm saying is, you've lived in the Philippines your whole life, yet you cannot pronounce the country that you live in. Don't you think that's like odd? Our language, our our language is Philippines, and we, our country name is Philippines. Okay. In our pronunciation, we say Philippines. All right. Say something to me in uh, in your language. I guess that's the end of that conversation. Oh, Tommy, I hope you. Hi, is this Amazon right now? Are you being Amazon? Hello? Yes, sir. How may I help you? Oh, okay. I'm just going to keep calling you and calling you and calling you until you get a job, okay? Spear me, Lenge. Sure. Please do that. Okay, and I'm you please do that, that too. You really need a job, Gandhi. You sound ridiculous right now. Come on, Asinam Kyahe. Fucker. 
Thank you for calling support. How may I help you? Hey, buddy, that guy told me I should call you again and again and again, okay? His name is Sanjay Singh. He told me I should keep calling you and calling you and calling you. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Go ahead, please. He's not ready for this.